The House is voting on a resolution to expel one of their own, Republican Representative George Santos. He's been dogged by allegations of lying and charges of fraud. Let's go to congressional correspondent Nathaniel Reed. He's been following the votes. Nate, what's it looking like so far, my man? Well, I want to point you back toward, toward those live pictures. Just look at the way that the votes are coming down. This is going to end any moment when they hit the gavel uh, and this vote actually closes. But the way that the votes are breaking down right now, only 24 Republicans voted in favor of removing George Santos from the House of Representatives. 157 Democrats voted in favor. And in fact, that's a worse turnout for those who wanted to see Representative Santos kicked out of Congress. 33 Democrats right now, those numbers are still coming in now, 32 again, have voted against removing George Santos from Congress. There were concerns that there could be, be potentially repercussions over removing someone from Congress while they still have ongoing uh, litigation. Everyone who has been removed from Cong Congress in the last two decades or so had actual um, convictions against them before they were removed uh, from the House of Representatives. So this vote appears to be overwhelmingly uh, in favor of Santos remaining in Congress, 213 representatives, a mixture of Democrats and Republicans voting to keep him there, 179 voting to remove him. This required a two-thirds majority, Christian, for it to be successful. So we needed to see every Democrat and possibly up to 70 or 80 Republicans voting in favor of removing him from, uh, uh, excuse me, voting in favor of removing him from Congress for that to be successful. At this point, that does not appear likely. I, we're expecting this vote again to close any moment now, but George Santos expected to remain a member of Congress after Democrats and Republicans voted to keep him there.